just everything about his game, I think, has has fit the bill. Absolutely. I thought he would go down and get seven last game versus Little Man, tie that game up, but he had one one bad play. It kind of took him out of where he had a realistic chance of scoring. So I, I agree, though. I've, I've loved the way he's played. I just would like to see him stay consistent with that defense. Breaking a couple of tackles, ultimately getting down at the 33-yard line. Throughout the tournament, we're going ham. We're going ham on Twitch drops. We're giving away four gold or better players, a 200-pick currency quick sell, a competitive series trophy, and the 98 overall Madden 20 cover player, Patrick Mahomes. Click the link below to connect your Madden and Twitch accounts to earn. The longer you watch, the more rewards you earn. If you are watching us on Twitch, we welcome you. We thank you for watching. We appreciate you taking the time. The other game obviously going on as well at the exact same time. You can watch both games simultaneously here on Twitch. Just hit that squads button. Some serious taking on Boogs. Boogs, a father of two great daughters. Self-described health nut as well. First down for some serious. That Eddie George is something like I've never seen before in this game. I promise you, the first thing I do when I get home is going <laughs> to be by Eddie George. He's so fired up because you're a big Ohio State guy. Big Ohio State guy, and I even I love his production on Madden even more than I did at Ohio State. There you go. Picked up nine and a half yards, brings up second and inches. I didn't see some series come out in this formation too much. He must know something about books from playing him online, maybe. He, he, his defense gets exposed. George slamming his way forward for a four-yard pickup. First and ten from the 46-yard line. And again, he's a player that we've seen run the ball more than, I mean, darn near anybody else in the field. Coming up the LCQ ladders, actually ran the ball on more than 40% of his plays. Yeah, and LCQ ladders, I believe he ranked number one in rush attempts, rush yards, rushes per game. Um, and like you see right here, he's not going away from it, continually, continuing to run the ball. Second and seven after a three-yard pickup. He told us, quote, I will run it every play until you stop it. He showed that in that Little Man game. Unfortunately, he didn't He didn't pivot fast enough. Little Man started to slow, slow down the run, and he didn't pivot to those pass plays fast enough. Dropping back to pass this time. Nope, he's going to tuck it and run. Oh, going down. Whoa! A big hit there on Lamar Jackson. And I'll tell you what, more often than not, you'll see that ball come loose. That's just a play. If you're Bugs, you just absolutely need to go your way. Interesting stuff there. You'll mostly see players with their quarterback on a scramble basically get down. Rupert, Rupert. We've seen Young Kim in this tournament actually dive forward, which is also a bit of a risky play. I'm not sure if he's doing that on purpose because that quarterback will fumble that ball. If he How about Eddie George oh, breaking one away? Again, Eddie George to the house for six. If you're in this tournament right now and you do not have Eddie George, you know you messed up. <laughs> Honestly, this, this is just... This is just preparation. This is just him knowing more than other players. He is by far the best running back we've seen. Incredible production. It's the second long touchdown we've seen from Eddie George in two games. He's just so hard to bring down. You're, you're seeing every time he is tackled, there's multiple guys right there. It's never a one-on-one -on -one hit stick nope. or strip opportunity. There's always a gang of people around him. How about the replay? I mean, he had a chance, a great user to get into the backfield. It didn't matter. I mean, I don't even know if we can say that was stick work, really, Mo. I mean, it just was. Yeah, just Eddie just, George just, just Eddie, Eddie George, George going to work. So, so, what does Boogs have for us on his first drive? And something you'll know, oh, Boogs is always going to be in the gun bunch formation. He he went for to bunch tight end a little bit, but it just wasn't working out for him. In salary cap, you need to be a little bit more explosive on offense. So he went back to this gun bunch formation. He's doing a little bit better, I think. But with Boogs, as you can see, Boogs is also going to be in this 5-2 defense, we'll notice throughout the game. However, some series isn't allowing him to get to it because he keeps running the ball. He's having to use a different defense. We'll notice that both these players are going to be running 5-2. Boogs with his first offensive possession. Some series showed blitz, faked out, dropped into coverage. Wide open. 
Make a move. And the wide receiver oh. in the flats wide open. Great patient defense to limit the production there. But a healthy pickup. First down, ball at the 46. Could have could have had a little bit better stick right there maybe yep. and picked up a few extra yards. But after a 20-yard gain, you're, you're fine with it. You're just trying to get to the end zone. But I, under, I get it. We'll take that every single time. This is what some serious said about Brooks. He's got a great team around him labbing him up. You never know what he might come out with. It can be unpredictable. Yeah, he labs with Skimbo, who's known to be the best player in the world right now. It looks like it's going to be a pick. Oh! Whoa! Winning in for everyone except for Books, who needs help to advance. Little Man, if he wins his game against Drini, obviously going 3-0 in groups, would win the group. And there's so many other scenarios, but, you know, it would take too long to get into it. Let's get into this game. A great toss to the right side. Boy, that defensive player broke it up. One scenario I know for sure is if Boogs wins this game and Drini wins his game, then something serious will be eliminated because him and Boogs will be the only one, only two players that are one and two, and Boogs will have the head-to-head -head win over him. Wow. Wow. With as well as some serious has played for him to face elimination here, interesting stuff. Under pressure, and the ball falls flat. Huge fourth down early in this game. And talk about the defense because Boogs right now one of four throwing the ball to start the game. It does surprise me because I know Boogs plays uh, Skimbo a lot who's in this defense. You'd think he'd be a little bit more prepared and I just don't understand why he's not. A big fourth and 10 here. Under pressure again, and this time he's sacked. That was great defense, don't get me wrong, but it looks like Boogs could have converted that if he didn't get a little anxious and playmaker that guy up. I almost think too, you know, with that kind of pressure, do the Skimbo game. Get outside of the pocket, throw it away. Absolutely. This loss and the loss of yardage on a loss of turnovers, you're compounding the problems. Absolutely. So a turnover on downs for Bugs on his first possession. Second possession now for some serious. 7 nothing lead after a long Eddie George touchdown. George again gets Great. stood up, but it doesn't matter. I mean, the guy is just a bulldozer, will fall forward. Amazing user by Bugs right there. Holds him to three yards, but it could have been so much more. If you're Bugs, you got to hold him to three right here. I really don't understand why people leave that 5-2 defensive line pinch when they know their opponent's going to run the ball. Spread the D-line out so they can have a better opportunity to make a play. This is what Spoto said of Bugs. He's going to be in 5-2 all day long. You have to figure out how to run against it. If I was some serious, I would go to a stretch. Here we go. George. Trying to find the outside after the inside was plugged up. Found nothing there. It's third and nine. We're going to see, our We're going to see a pass play from some series here for sure. He's going to be out in that spread formation. I'm interested to see what Boogs is going to run on defense. He's, he's not going to that 5-2. He's obviously prepared for some series, knowing that that 5-2 wouldn't be very effective. Gone, 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 gone. Ball at the 31-yard line, well within field goal range. Oh, he's on aggressive. Ooh. Free five yards. A free five yards now makes it in a very, very manageable third and four. And the thing about it is that penalty now opens the door again to run the ball. Absolutely. It's definitely something you should watch out for if you're Boogs. I would probably go to the run here myself if I was something serious, but it looks like he's going to pass. With the way Eddie George is playing, I'm surprised he doesn't run it with him, but it's okay. He throws it to the flats. It goes right down after picking up that first down. I feel like people's preparation versus some series just isn't so good because he's he's so different than everybody else, and you, you're not going to be able to get good reps versus it. But one play that he goes to is that play right there, and I don't understand when people see that guy motioning over, it's always an out route. Every single time he's ran that play, it's always been an out route. Why do we continue to give that up? That's one. That's the one route you have to take away because it's his first read. There's no reason for him to be able to throw that pass. Right, lucky 56, lucky 56. Some serious believes that other teams will have to adjust to him and not the other way around. Let's see if that happens. Eddie George powers through one tackler, but still brought down in the backfield. It's second and 13. If you're Bugs, that's a huge play. You have to hold him to three now. Oh, Bugs going to the spread formation versus, or going to the 5 2 versus the spread formation. I'm not sure how this is going to end up. Here comes Eddie George. On second Great and 13, tackle. it doesn't matter. He's going to run it. Brought down again. 
Third and 15, two run plays results in negative five yards. First quarter will come to a close. Relatively low scoring affair thus far. Some serious leading seven to nothing on Bugs. He absolutely needs a win, a loss, and he'd be eliminated. Some serious also facing potential elimination as well, just depending on all the point scenarios. The other game, of course, you could find it. You can go to squad mode. Click on that button on the right-hand side. You can catch both games. Here's Eddie George on a delay. Great run on third and 15. What a gutsy call. He just didn't want to turn the ball over, I don't think. I think he's just happy with going up two possession. He doesn't feel like boasting score. He had a four and out of his first drive. I love the call. So you said Books had to hold him to three. We've seen a lot of players get down in this red zone and turn the ball over. He just That's something he didn't want to do. Field goal will be up. Could push it to a 10-point game. Field goal is up and good. It is a 10-point lead. This is a crucial drive for Books here. He has to get seven. You mentioned it before, but that's almost a drive where I think maybe both players might be happy. Absolutely. I, I, I def you're definitely happy if you're both because you got the ball in your territory. You held him to three. Not too many better scenarios than that. Ten to nothing. Over, over, and over, when you're a defensive-minded player like some serious and you're and you're playing with a ten-point lead, over, over, you, so love you love so that. You love that. Tons of action up front. And a quick pass. The user spin gets him nothing. Second and seven. We saw Little Man be very effective with the underneath routes in that second half of their last game against some serious. I wonder if Boogs employs a similar strategy here. That's a problem. Boogs didn't get to see that game. Right. That's, that, that's the tough part. You don't get to see that game, so it's going to be hard for him to have an in-game adjustment. I, I think he'll figure it out. He's a pretty good offensive player, but it's something we'll have to see. Bugs underneath. Looks like he is electing to go underneath, which which is going to be good. I think that's that's really important. You gotta you gotta kind of have a, a double drag type concept on every play versus some series. So ten to nothing to score right now. Three thirty nine left to go in the first half. A long touchdown from Eddie George gave some series his first touchdown. It was a turnover on downs for the first possession for Bugs, resulting in a field goal, makes it ten to nothing. Pressure coming. Pressure Green. gets home. Not only is that a sack, it's a 10-yard sack. Huge sack. Over, 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 over. So now second and 20. A lot of work to be done here. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Defense can bring the heat Watch if they want. Now, Barney, Barney. And I imagine they will. That's the philosophy. Here That's the mindset. Here comes another sack. Ladanian Tomlinson with two sacks. Not something you're going to see huh. every day. Another nine yard loss, third and 29. If you're books here, if you plan on going for this on fourth down, you have to look to just pick up 12 to 15 yards here. Don't go for it all on this. You're almost never gonna get it. If, even if he picks up 10, it's a, it's a weird call. If you pick up 10, I would probably just stick with a punt, but I don't think we'll see that. I agree. So here he goes, he throws out into the flats. Great play. Spins right back into the defender. Fourth and 17. Fourth and 17, and it looks like he's going for it. Do you agree with the call? It's just such a tough call because if you don't get it, it's going to get dark early. And if you, if you pick it up, it's obviously great, but the chances of getting are so slim. Fourth and 17, ball at the 47. I think where it is on the field also plays a, plays a role in Book's decision here. Also, the fact that he's down 10 points probably plays a big part of that decision-making process. got time. Oh, oh boy! Out. The defense gets there. It's another turnover on down. Looks like he was going to have time to make a play there, and he just didn't. His guy got off the block and tacked him. Two possessions, two turnover on downs for Bugs. Hand off to George. George powering his way forward. 
But even there, that's Deion Sanders making that tackle. If he breaks that tackle, it's a touchdown. He's gone. There was no help in the back. It's not looking like Bugs has any answer for this, this, this running attack at all. Second and four after a six-yard pickup. I mean, a touchdown here, you got to think Boogs is in serious, serious trouble. Especially with how well some series has been able to run the ball. Yes. How many three and outs can you really force from some series given Eddie George in this running attack? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Hand off. Goes to George. No surprise here. Truck stick. Oh, my goodness. Flattens the defender. And if you're some serious, your goal here is to take all of the clock with you. Don't let Bugs have another possession in this half. Go up 13 to nothing or 17 to nothing. And have a commanding lead in the second half. Can I just say, there's just something visceral, something so satisfying about applying a perfectly timed truck. Oh, no doubt. No it's doubt. one of the best feelings in Madden. Every single time I know I, I, I apply a truck, and it's not often because I'm not very good, but when I do it, I feel, I feel good about myself. It gets me out of my chair every single time. 10 nothing your score, third and inches. To go along with that, there's nothing better than having Eddie George and the guy in front of you is Deion Sanders. <laughs> you just know he has you no want chance. That. Yeah, yeah, you, you want, want that. that every time. Third and inches. Didn't like the play because he was running out of time. Now goes back to George, fighting his way forward. I he was gonna stand him up there. Oh my goodness. If he got a stumble recovery, he's off to the races. Eddie George just looks unstoppable right now. I'm oh. so mad I didn't use Eddie George in my last chance qualifier. <laughs> 10 to nothing, your score. Some serious with the ball. He has been dominant on both sides of the ball thus far. Your bogey, you need to flip that nickel and get him on the right side. You need to be where the extra tight end's at. Just one wide receiver in the formation. You know he's running the ball with Eddie George. Can you stop it? They do there. No game. Second and ten. If you're Bugs, why are you waiting ten seconds to use the timeout? Just use it if you're going to use it or not. That was completely pointless to wait those seven seconds before you call the timeout. Not terrific time management there. 107, 67 seconds left to go in the first Detroit, half. Detroit. Looks like we might see a pass here. Right, yeah, sure. Four wide receivers. You see out of position, Deion Sanders on that left side slot. He's got him if he wants him. Nope. Oh, I thought he might have lurked it. And he picks up the first down. That could have been huge. If you're Bugs, that's a loss, but you had a chance. You had, had a, a chance. Six. You just had to be a little bit closer, and you may have had a pick six. So some serious, we know what the tendencies might be on offense. He's going to throw it to the flats. He's going to run it with Eddie George. The only question is, can you stop it? Eddie George already 86 yards rushing on 14 attempts. And if you're booked, you're just hoping and praying that some serious passes the ball down here. You want a chance. You just need any sort of chance for some life. Even if he passes and throws a touchdown, you're grateful that he gave you a chance to fight back in this game. And then if you're some serious, you know, you could do a little self-scouting on your own. Maybe they start playing those flats. Absolutely. You can start riding that seam route for touchdown. He is going to stick with the run here. He sure is. And why not? Because it's working. Look User truck gets him up to the three. That's a man's run right there. As you guys see, Boogs did not use that last timeout. That is going to be huge. I, I actually love that he didn't use that timeout. A lot of players make that mistake where they're trying to get the ball back with 20 seconds for no reason. Make it tough on your opponent. Don't make it any easier. The user truck came a little early there. Mistimed it just a bit. Down at the one. Some serious calls a timeout. I think we, every single person, the thousands watching online know where this ball is going. One yard line, some serious. If this ball doesn't go to Eddie George, I would be stunned. I'd run the stretch Lucky left 56. here. Back up, Philly. Here we go. Looks like he's going to go with the dive. Switch, switch, switch. Here we go. Dive play. He Nothing going. He's got no timeouts left. No timeouts left. What do you do? 
Third and goal, nine you, seconds. You almost have to pass. You really do. You almost have to pass because you're not going to get that field goal off if you're stopped. And that's why I love Books not using that timeout. I formation. Fullback dive. Fullback He's blown dive. up. Oh, my goodness. He's blown Can up. Can he get it off in time? No, there's no way. And Books just gave himself a chance to win this game because he had great clock management, didn't burn that timeout for no reason. Oh, does not get the field goal off in time. That's something so underrated by Madden players. I'm, I'm completely amazed that he chose not to use that timeout. You almost never see it anymore with these new, new guys playing the game. They always burn that timeout trying to get the ball back. Great job wow. by Books. Wow, wow, wow. Just a reminder, the wild card round. Young Kiv and TBD, but it's Kurtobin and TBD as well. We got so many things to figure out here in Group D. That was a stop, man. Wow, what a stop. And if you're booked, you're, if you're, booked, you're down 10 nothing, but you're feeling good. You just got some momentum back. You thought for sure you were gonna be down 17 and a half. You end up getting a stop down 10 and a half. A huge, huge stop. And this is why it's such a chess match. Because again, with no timeouts, your best play, you've been so good running the ball, do you go away from that? Over, 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 Absolutely. So you can kind of see where, you know, the, the mindset is for both players. Books. Tosses it to the left. Great spin move to the inside. Picks up a ton of yards afterwards. Huge play for Boog. Huge play. Ball spotted at the 46-yard line. He's got a ton of momentum right now. I would keep going back to that play. That's the only play he's had success with. Over, 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 what are we watching for here, Mo? if he wants to run that play again? We're going to see a drag to number 10. We're going to see a post route across the middle. Oh, he got oh, bumped. pressure. Sean Taylor, two sacks. And again, that's that out of position. Sean Taylor playing defensive end for some serious. Here we go. Books on second and 18. See, Books Trying to find good. something. Can't find much. Might Bullet pass to the sideline. Wow! Julio! Oh, that not picked off? Julio Jones a huge grab. Not a great read, but a huge gain for Books. Books just isn't as patient as some of these other players. He should have thrown the drag early, picked up an easy eight yards. However, he, he gets a little fortunate, throws a deep bomb to Julio, and he comes down with it. That's got to be a click on interception, no? Absolutely. It just gets really tough when you're defending a receiver with the frame that Julio has. All right, now, look at 56. 10 to nothing, your score. Books threatening. A blitz comes right up the middle, unblocked. And it's an easy sack. And if you're Bogues, you're looking at the play like, oh, if I just had a second or two, I would have right, thrown a touchdown to Julio. Second and 19. Over, Sacks. Over, over, over. Coming in bunches here for some serious, but can he get the big stop? We'll find out. Some serious. Make a move. Make a move. Tried the hit stick. Missed it. And the spin move gets him inside. Down to the 10. Third and six. It's a tough place. It's really easy to make a mistake down here. Was some serious trying to time the hit stick with the spin move? I think he was, but right there, you just have to make the tackle. Gone, 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 gone. Third and six from the 10 yard line. The field's compressed. Does Brooks have a touchdown in him? Looking, scanning, not much open, not much open. Rolling out, rolling out under pressure, has to throw it away. Great throw away, but I would have liked to see Books try to outrun that guy that had that had the spy on Lamar Jackson. Your quarterback's 97 speed. Use it to your advantage. Field goal all the way to make it a one-score game. Field goal up and good. It's now 10 to 3. Books shut out in the first half, collects three here on his opening drive in the second. Some series gonna have a chance for a kick return here with Deion Sanders. Relatively short kick. Here comes Deion Sanders. Ooh, blocked up pretty well up the middle. User spin. Gets him up to the 28-yard line. If you're Bugs, you just need to find a way to put some series in a tough position. Just don't let it be easy for him. Try to stop this run on these, these first couple of downs. Make him pass. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Already over 100 yards rushing for some series in this ball game. Another run. Eddie George. Good defense. Fighting forward. I mean, it takes three. 
books defenders to bring him down. Second attempt. Some series over 400 yards on the day rushing. I can only imagine how many times that is the next closest player. Probably 10, 20 times the next closest player. Incredible what he's doing on the offensive side of the ball. Clock winding down. Some serious. Oh, he holds right on. to the scene. And this time, Moss holds on. Some serious only been forced to throw the ball three times this game. Yeah. In, uh, I mean, incredible, incredible stuff. You and I were talking about it, though. The tendency to throw to the flats. I think that time he went away from his tendency Absolutely. and hit the sink. One wide receiver in this formation. He's got Tomlinson in a tight end. Here comes George. George. So tough to bring down. All of these animations, you, you start to think, can he break them? 10 to 3.